All right. Welcome there online. Welcome to FIBA Morning Talk Talks. Great to have you guys here joining us today. We're going to have an exciting morning and inspiring morning today. We're going to be uh, going to be talking about working remotely. So how to ensure a fluent investor founder communication that boosts the startup's growth. All right. But uh, so uh, let's get started. So welcome to FIBA Morning Talks. This is a uh, uh, event that we organize uh, uh, once a month uh, where we have an angel uh, from Fiban or somewhere else or an industry expert sharing their knowledge on related topics uh, relating to angel investing. And uh, today's top uh, topic, we're going to talk about uh, the remote uh, communication with Anuka Mikkelson. Uh, after the conversation, we're going to have a uh, question and answer from you audience so you get the chance to ask questions from from Annukka and yeah we're, we're ending uh, 15 past nine so we got great inspiring uh, 45 minutes ahead of us so let's get started all right let's start with everybody can join us uh, for the question so go to uh, menti.com so www.menti.com and we started over there uh, and in the meanwhile, uh, welcome Annuka, uh, current uh, vice chair of FIBAN. Uh, you were lead angel in in that program, and uh, and you've been a FIBAN board member for a long time already. Uh, but uh, and also, uh, actually, you you are doing an online academy uh, on this relating topic. So that's where I spot you. So, but but you would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, shortly here. Thank you, Antti. Thank you very much. It's it's very nice to be here this morning. I think this is a great uh, great way to take make the best out of this uh, this time when we are not able to uh, communicate directly as as much. But 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 how, this is the way we can communicate with great distance. Also, uh, my back <clears throat> background. Excuse me. <clears throat> my background is is actually from. Uh, um, first of all, I, I studied accounting and, and tax uh, tax policies when I was in in, in the Helsinki School of Economics. Uh, my my career has been within banks, uh, also within politics. I was a, a special advisor for for a minister who was in charge of the um, the uh, government owned companies, and uh, then I've been in in uh, in in kind of public relations uh, work doing past that. But my my love of uh, of of uh, or smaller businesses, or growth businesses. Uh, is, is a long flung thing because back in 2008 when the great financial crisis hit. So then it was then when I was in, in, in politics and we, we were pondering with, with the minister that how do we put, how, how the government could boost uh, companies when, when the whole financial markets froze. There was nothing going on, and all small firms, com family companies, were were struggling with uh, with financing. And at that time, luckily, with uh, with private investors, became Fiban, and also uh, uh, the, this um, venture capitalist association that that got stronger at the time. So it was still a private money who who made this ecosystem work, but. But obviously, government as as today, they are still worried about how to boost and how to how to support companies in these these uh, troubling times. So my my background is is very much from from kind of a not the traditional uh, the traditional side of 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 investing, but but wanting to see how the ecosystem works, how what can be done, and what we need to be telling the the decision makers to make this this ecosystem even better i have a, a few few own investments because i want to get my hands dirty everywhere i go and uh, and that as said so i was also an app leader a couple of years ago and and, yeah. and luckily that company is still going strong even, oh. even stronger now so right. yeah here i am thank you yes <laughs> great to have you here uh thanks for joining us for today and actually the word cloud started already coming over there. So the question was, what is important when creating fluent communication with founders? And we have a lot of uh, good, really good uh, answers already. Uh, in the middle, we have transparency. 
probably mm -hmm. uh, really important these times. Uh, uh, and trust, of course, uh, trust probably uh, it's it's uh, even harder to read people these days, and it's uh, easier to let things unsaid when we are mm -hmm. remote. So. So what's your thoughts on, on these words, for example? Absolutely. All of these very much uh, cling to my, to my also doing of, of, uh, with, within these remote uh, scene, scenes. I think the four, four most important things when, when communicating all, all together is, is obviously to be clear, to be simple and clear, and that comes with transparency, obviously, uh, so that your message is, is understood so and and by that you can create the trust which is also there there um, mentioned it's it's most important to have the trust when we are here together face to face it's much more easy to see that how you're reacting to everything mm -hmm. the remote is also always a little bit uh harder to see what's happening there's a lighting problem there are people when tend to listen if they're listening for the longer time they, they tend to kind of um go down to a kind of a coma it's like okay yeah, yeah, i'm just listening this is, this is the, the <laughs> stupid thing and and even when we don't have the face on it's uh, then it's even harder to see that what kind of a uh, behavior or what kind of a uh, movements the other person is doing. So mm -hmm. creating trust in the very beginning is, is the first thing. It's, it's when, whenever you are starting to work with a new group of people. So that's, that's the one thing. So, so keep the message simple, keep it understandable. Uh, then also, you know, relating to who you're talking to. So where do they come from? What are their expectations? It's not uh, communication is not just me telling you something, but we it's a two way thing. Mm -hmm. So you need to get a response that you understand that what what's being what's being said. I've been listening to some um, uh, some ed uh, educational um, podcasts or or, or something uh, something like that. So there you can easily see that when there is no audience for the speaker. Mm -hmm. So it tends also to go down to a kind of a, a automatic mode that I'm just talking through through the message, but but get, getting the two way information that are these people at all interested? Are they listening? Do they understand? Is very much needed. So somehow create uh, create a way to go uh, to get that feedback, and that's obviously as you mentioned also that if you don't get feedback, that's also a feedback actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. Then I'll, I'll spot out a few other words here that we have uh, psychological, so psychological safety, mm -hmm. open communication, mm. of course, uh, the difficult also like uh, uh, the, how to keep it open uh, to communication and, and you have to probably do extra work in these mm. times. Uh, listening founders needs. Uh, very important and and and, uh, and, and probably different uh, frequent communication. Yes, uh, these thing, these words really speak like uh, come mm. together. And, and we're gonna be touching on these topics. Uh, what we have here, uh, other ones are quite small, but there's open openness, motivation, listening. Mm. So yes, all right, great. Uh, but I guess uh, so. Uh, we can move on from this uh, word cloud and, 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 and call for the conversation. Uh, let's get started. And, um, and, and in the beginning, uh, as a deal flow manager, I, I must ask that, uh, and I want to start the conversation on the, uh, in the early stage of communication. So, so how things has changed and uh, has it been harder to find cases during these uh, corona times or, or Oh, how how has it actually changed? So what has happened? Well, the deal flow is the most important thing. That brings people together, first of all. Mm. People, the syndicate is more, more or less formed around a, a good, good company rather than somebody just um, going around and, and, and asking for his friends, his or her friends. Mm. Sometimes that also happens, or, or happens happens quite a lot also. But but when we're looking at the FIBA deal flow, so usually there is somebody who has gone through through the deal flow and sees sees a good thing, and then there are others who don't know each other from 
uh, from the beginning. So, so that is the stage then when we see that who are interested are that that group needs to kind of get to know each other. What are their ambitions? What are their goals? What, how do they see the company? What's, uh, what's in it there for them? Yeah. So that's, that kind of a basic work needs to be done together if that was, wants to work as a syndicate. Otherwise, you can just invest as an individual person and just hope that everything mm. goes right. We are getting more professional about the syndications. Mm. So people are getting kind of a more organized with uh, with syndication and that's that's a good thing to see but you need to build kind of understanding of each other what are they what are they doing and and that's one of the you know you you may call it a, a trust or psychological safety with the group and uh, but that's then you know who are in in with what kind of capacity capacity and and abilities to to put in the in the, uh, the syndicate or, or the company. And, and that helps, especially the leads then to organize the work around, around uh, for, for the safety and for the growth of the company. Yeah, yeah. And how about, uh, how about companies? How, like, uh, probably you met them before in, in, in Slash and, and, mm-hmm. and, and in the towns and, and Fiban pitch Finland events and you get the conversations uh, going there. But, uh, but kind of what I'm asking is, is uh, do they approach you in different ways now like is your LinkedIn kind of uh, are they pushing from there more or or what kind of channels uh, absolutely are using? Yeah. absolutely just about every channel okay okay yeah <laughs> every yeah. channel I'm, yeah. I'm I'm available so yes yeah. I do get invitations from the LinkedIn I could do get from uh, even uh, Facebook um, Twitter can yeah. be used yeah. for that anything that can you know be be, be a lead for for uh, for getting me luckily not that much phone calls because that's yeah. then when they start pitching it's it takes time and anyway um there are so many approaches as there are people who contact you yeah uh, they are getting kind of more unanimous uh, you know back then 10 years ago when when i i was first first time for the slush uh, attended and there was the uh, the pitching competition as there is usually even even today so the pitches are very they were very different from each other now they they are very you know there's a format and there's a there's a message the message is getting clearer and 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 the sell, sales talk is getting um better also also uh, the the content of it not just how you make it yeah so yeah so there there are a lot of ways to get get into but i still love deal flow because yeah. there i get there i know what i get yeah <clears throat> and okay when when there's something interesting uh, i might be um asking for more information but but sometimes um sometimes if if they're clever people who are, are contacting me so they give kind of the same same package that we get from from yeah. the startup includer yeah. and that that helps a lot when mm-hmm. when going through but i like to kind of compare compare things in 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 groups and 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 decide upon that that what's good and what's what's bad because this is still still uh, these are still you know you don't make unicorns in 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 one night and even if i'm not going after unicorns it's still you know comparing one one to another is is always um um, more um it gives you more insight to that that okay why did that answer to the, this question and why did this one brought this one up and and that kind of thing so it's i think it's a good way to get into the um to um being an investor any anyways mm, yeah definitely and and uh, out of interest i, I still must ask uh, one follow-up question like uh, in the founder side like do they for example uh, organize their own events for example are they having like we're pitching live or or this kind of thing. So, how do they gather angels and try to kind of uh, do they do some extra in that sense? Uh, do you, have you seen anything like uh, this? Uh, depends a little bit. If they are very very far on already within the, the investments, yeah. then then they have the knowledge to how to kind of um, 
uh, intrigue more more investors in. But if they are first first timers, so to speak, so yeah. then they are very raw still, and 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 uh, just trying to get their their personal message through. Some of them are more selling, yeah. uh, some of them are more you know getting into that what's what's there for me, and and uh, so. Uh, but I would love to see that yeah. more that 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 there would be uh, kind of a event that the. Uh, the company would uh, yeah. organize somehow. Yeah, that just actually came came. Uh, uh, some some mm. partner told me that we're going to do this kind of thing. I was like, okay, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, that, that you actually like <clears throat> being proactive uh, instead mm. of uh, kind of uh, waiting things to go normal. But they are mm. coming up with new ways, and, and that's mm. I think it's great to see uh, bringing new kind of things and, and testing out, and maybe maybe it brings something. Mm, so especially that, when there is a group of people, but that's why I love syndications because then there's mm. a group of people and you learn along along the way. You learn from each other. I, I'm not expert in, in anything, especially. So uh, I'm, I love when there's a group of people where there's an uh, expert on this one and that one and that thing, and then we can combine and then we can combine our, our, our expertise and, and see what that brings to table on, on for for the founders altogether because they are usually um there there are you know seasoned founders also but usually founders are quite quite young and eager but uh, ability to take on 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 good advice can be then yeah very di different also yeah yeah definitely all right uh okay let's go on the, the like more on the topic and and let's start with uh, kind of uh, uh, I put this in, in in two parts, so so more mm -hmm. like the hard stuff and then the soft stuff. So okay. so let's start with the hard stuff uh, more. So so let's go kind of in the basics. So what is the basic communication that every uh, kind of investor and founder should have? Uh, should there be like uh, uh, how do you feel this? That that should there be like uh, monthly calls or or uh, what kind of reporting or what, what kind of things uh, have more value during these corona times than than before, especially. From from reporting side, I don't think that Corona actually changed much. Still, I want to have the numbers. Yeah. I want to see what has been done and what has been achieved in numbers also. It's not just that, okay, we had great effort and then we got something, but even uh, r rather than, okay, we had this and that many contacts, uh, kind of the funnel how many contacts you've had, how many do you think you can have, and then what happened to them, what did you do, and then uh, what's the success? Does it brought, did it bring any, any success or, or was there something that was keeping from it? Analysis on, on what, what went wrong, what was good. Some kind of a self-reflecting uh, also reporting and not just, you know, putting the numbers out there, uh, giving, giving it, okay, we are, we are five strong or, or we are four strong. It doesn't give me anything. I need to know why did she or he uh, think these uh, things are important and what is the reason behind these numbers. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the, the kind of the, the output. I, I want to have a, a on, on a monthly basis yeah. sometimes you don't need to you know repeat from if, if there's no change so you don't need to repeat them but but the the progress needs to be visible somehow so following also uh up to the point that what's what's been doing what's been done and and what are the, what are the efforts and and that's what i want to see that then can be completed with uh with a phone call getting to know if they're special especially keeping as a lead lead syndicate syndicate lead so keep the phone kind of open for any questions being being the partner where uh, a founder can be um, you know because he he or she can't be talking with uh, with a group necessarily but being the other adult adult in the room kind of thing that what can be done in this situation what what are the reasons and how how uh, personnel what wh where should we go for uh market it's not always that the lead knows the answers right away but but there's a there's a good reason to um or a good way to kind of resonate with with somebody yeah. else uh, that kind of thing. And then obviously, if there's a possibility to set up a, a video meeting, so just to kind of keep keep the phases up, uh, because it would be lovely to see each other every 
every now and then. But the more we are getting international, it's not possible. Mm. I've also had in, in syndicates, we've had people from three different countries or four different countries. So we can't communicate as a syndicate in, in one place. But we, we, we use all this, all this um, and um, all, all this equipment. And this is, uh, this is uh, getting more and more, you know, we are, we are getting used to it. But, but it, even that can be better, better used because when you create an atmosphere like this, that you are kind of a, in good lighting and, and uh, you are looking up and, and, and participating in the discussion over the, over the uh, camera. So that's, that's also a way to make the communication easy then when it comes. But I'm already getting to your soft stuff here. But. <laughs> uh, no, I think it's good. We, we, we should definitely reflect into that, that stuff. Yeah, and, uh, yeah but set, we... set up a first, first kind of a routine that this is what I want yeah. from the re daily or no, monthly reporting or whenever you want it. If you want it quarterly, that doesn't matter. Just as you are in, in, on top of that, what's going, what's happening? So we, when, when, because you're older, you, you're the, in it with your own money, and that founder needs to understand that. That mm. otherwise, if if that's uh, that's part of the trust that is there, mm. if the founder is not willing to give you the numbers, so what's the reason? Ooh, mm. that 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 is a signal also. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, touching on what you said, uh, there was uh, the, 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 having these remote meetings. So, so has it increased? Like, uh, has it been happy? Uh, <clears throat> become a habit uh, with some founders that you actually have like uh, weekly or biweekly uh, video calls for half an hour, one hour, like that. You can have more open conversations. Not probably that often, but but um, I think that. <laughs> Well, I think I know that we have uh, uh, quarterly calls uh, with those that are not in the board. The board meetings are different than than the, than you know. Yeah. Then you know much more about it. But but quarterly calls are are quite, kind of quite uh, or or half a yearly. But you know every every six months yeah. or something like that. So there you can kind of actually see face to face what's happening and and. Uh, you know, everybody is trying to concentrate on that and, and putting their good minds on, on work together. So that's that's what and we had. Has those board meetings gone like uh, remote uh, on on like basic level that they are always remote nowadays, or do you have meetings as well? Like uh, we tried in the beginning to be also you know uh, face to face, but uh, then it proved unpractical. To yes. be honest, we 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 are tight with time so it's it's easier to set up a a, a call or or a, a video meeting once we are more warm in the close with with all the equipment and how to make yeah. make the presentations and what goes where and and how to make it look like so it's mm. uh, it's getting easier absolutely and and it does save time yeah, uh, yeah. but it does also require that the presentation is uh, well thought through and and mm. it's it's actually present presentable, and that also act, on the other hand, it, this is a good thing because then you need to know what what are you actually asking from the board, what do you want to show show them, and what are you asking them. You need to be kind of pre premeditating a, that a little bit more than than you than sometimes we in in the beginning of the year. So the board meetings could be that there is an agenda, and then we went all over the place, and and then at the end we saw that okay, the time is up, and let's continue next time. So yeah. that 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 happened then, but I think this is now Corona is, is giving us a little bit more backbone on yeah. how to do these things. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. When you have to do something, then back back against the wall, you have yeah. to go yeah. that, that way. And uh, do you feel that it's it's it could it might be like the new normal of having a uh, online remote by default? I think it is. Yeah. I think it is that. Well, then then there are things like Christmas lunches or or, yeah. or summer get-togethers, and then that would be. That will be obviously face to face. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully, thumbs up and and, and vaccines going on. Uh, so, but but otherwise, I think we are getting quite used to um, having having it uh, remotely at least some of the time. Yeah. If we ever get rid of this this awful situation, so I would still think that people prefer 
being able to do the hybrid thing also that okay if i'm not able to come there's a possibility to then uh, mm. participate by video or something like that yeah uh, actually but that uh, i remember like uh, before before corona times like when when there was somebody remote when when you have like remote and other people online it it felt like that person was like kind of in control of the meeting because every time they speak everybody goes so silent mm-hmm. there and there's no conversation but i think that's it's, the it's, thing uh most definitely changing like uh people yeah. are more yeah we we now. still this, that that's not normal for people first of all we don't we, we want to always interrupt because mm. we have the message yeah. so that this teaches us though to listen to each other yeah. even in the uh, when when everybody is remotely so then we need to be kind of a concentrating on okay when does that sentence end now it's my turn yeah mm. uh, very good very good point like because you cannot speak Uh, mm. in like when when somebody else is speaking oh, it's very rude. Wait. yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> current current teaches us something and, and the remote working teaches us something that's actually really great mm. all right uh other best practices kind of that you have uh, found out well everybody creates their own own yeah, set of definitely. set of doing things and and I, i i'm not sure if if it's it's wise to give give kind of a this is the best thing to do but i think I think that the best thing is to kind of organize it the way that works your 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 company and and your syndicate the best sometimes there could be uh, you know uh, but as i said so the, the the first thing is to to have the trust as as you as we all know in this working in this situation when when a new person comes in th- within this uh, corona in this corona time it's very difficult to get them kind of uh, find their way in the company when they can't meet p- people mm. so that's that's what needs to be kind of understood all the way that, uh, that there's a there's always a difficulty when we are not meeting face to face to uh, to build the trust that what are we and and we get tired if it's only you know going by agenda making all the routines okay that brings us forward for for a time but for innovation for for creating new ideas for 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 brainstorming these systems are not the best there it is it's it's getting better but it's not still the best thing to do All right. I think we, we we have been talking about already this uh, the basic. Uh, what are the basic uh, investor and syndicate communication and best practices there? But do you have something uh, in that uh, syndicate area? Like uh, what kind of uh, communication? Let's go in the basics. Like what what are the basic communication that the lead mm. and the syndicate should have? I think the one thing to remember is that to keep the syndicate going even though there would be no trouble mm. uh, because uh, the good good information that is shared within the syndicate keeps the people together keeps their mind on on the subject on the company the 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 abilities that it needs uh, uh, and as said if it's a big syndicate okay some of the people are there just for for the ride and others are more more uh hands on uh, and that's that's excellent thing to do but but we are still with it, with the syndicate with the company we are still on the ride for five years or or seven years or something so to to be able to uh, you know then when it comes to exit or or or, or raising new money so if you get company or the syndicate going and and everybody is kind of on the same page with the company that is important to keep up during the times and and not just wait that when, when the catastrophe hits then 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 we just try to kind of understand each other and 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 go through so so yeah it's a group that you you need to love and 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 you actually do love when when you know more more about them great all right uh, then Uh, on my question side, let's yeah. go on the soft side, but uh, right. <laughs> we have been touching that really well and uh, <clears throat> it's a good conversation. But so, so let's start with first. What kind of problems remote working has brought, and especially on founders' side, did you see that uh, some of them didn't, for example, communicate at all, and uh, 
uh, you were thinking what's going on. Questions and on answers. Yeah. Questions on answer. That's what we all, ah. all, all, you know, we are familiar with that. Yeah. And obviously there's always a reason behind it. And uh, sometimes you go several times and ask that, okay, what was it? It's uh, when we're remote, we can kind of hide behind the scene and say that, okay, we're yeah. not, not important. Mm. <laughs> um, but obviously syndicately or syndicate people or, or investors, they do have a reason for, for, question, for those questions. And, and it will be, you know, kind of polite and keeping keeping the uh, the atmosphere kind of thing to do to answer the question somehow even if they are stupid they then you can kind of say that okay I don't think this is in the in the in the um, or or we have these things that are kind of more important or or this can be really la- related to this and that but if you start you know ignoring things ignoring questions ignoring uh, calls or something that is a strong strong signal. Of something, and as said, so within this this uh, investment world, so if you want to get reinvested by the same investors, which might have brought you great money, you need to keep them kind of happy and and trusting, and and that's what is this this is the hard world. Yeah. This is how it goes. You can't just you know ignore them for half a month and or half a year and or two years and then come back to them and said, yeah, well, now we need more money. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. that's that's one of the things. Mm. Yeah, probably a lot of lot of good words in the in the word cloud in the beginning of this as well, mm. like the open communication. All right, and then um, like, uh, what kind of uh, acts have you uh, have to done on these things as well? Like, uh, uh, did have you have like serious conversations with founders? Um, well. <sighs> Serious and serious. <laughs> we're we're done to the matters. So uh, I mean that that's the thing. We, it's not. It doesn't need to be very emotional. Yeah. But you know, getting getting the thing straight and keeping it simple, as I said in the beginning, that be being kind of a straightforward. What, what do you mean that if you are an investor, you want to know how your investment is going? That should mm. be, you know, self evident. And um, and also, if the trouble comes, you just bring it on the table and say that, okay, see, look at this. I, I have, I want to see this one, and I have a problem with that. How would you be able to, you know, do something about it? Or is there something that I'm, I'm, I'm misunderstanding? Keeping the conversation open, as as also, mm. it, it's it's easy to say, but always, you know, the easiest way is to keep your a- ego out of it. And your emotions out of it and just mm, you know concentrate yeah. on the questions that i don't have this answer i would like to see that and this is what i see that leads to that one and that that's you know it's very simple actually it's just you know keeping things on 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 things and not on people yeah exactly focus mm. on the problem all right and then uh how to inspire and motivate founders in these remote oh times. my gosh yeah that's question. i mean that that was so 80s <laughs> <laughs> leadership in 80s 90s okay was much about motivating people yeah. but i think motivation comes from when you are kind of on top of things that you you understand that you want to do and that's it's not a, a, a kind of a hocus pocus thing it's it's uh, it's about being again a player with uh, with the setup, the goals, and uh, what um, what facilitates getting to uh, to uh, to where you're going, and uh, you know we 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 live in in the where, world where the expectations and and the delivery is not always matching, mm. and that's one thing that each uh, each side needs to be understanding that we have different expectations we when we come to a situation where we communicate that are we coming from the same page actually mm. you might have your own ideas that how should things should be going and the other side has their own ideas and both usually start speaking it's not communicating as i said in the beginning it's mm. two way you need to be understanding okay why is this person talking about this where does she come from there where does he come from why is he protecting this and why is he doing that? So leveling with the other person. You have your own message, obviously. We all do. We love bringing our own messages. But 
that's the the communication is not about us it's about myself it's it's about getting the other one kind of on the same page yeah. as i said so that's that's the mo most important thing we do have a lot of expectations especially investors we have expectations on on growth and we are willing to uh, kind of a fight for it with the founders but the founders live the company day to day and their their drive is also their day to day so that needs to be also respected great all right um, let's move on for the for the last part on the questions on the audience and on the name of the communication please also write questions but also uh, reflect to us so you can reflect on the conversation that we have had here now so did we talk rubbish yeah, yeah <laughs> you, you, be, be, be open and uh, <laughs> trust us to uh, answer uh, kind of uh, get the, the way how you feel about it so so be open and, and, and comments and questions please and in the meanwhile while we while we are waiting for people to for the questions and and comments uh uh i want to ask you has there been a special benefit of having these syndicates in different skill sets and you've been touching this many mm. times but uh, absolutely yeah. but th as i said you need to first know what the skills are there exactly. and how much they are these e each individual are willing to put them time time on the um, uh, on this uh, syndicate or the growth company so that's that's the basic thing sometimes you just have a kind of a mentor within the syndicate who can be there for some things but then others are willing to put more time and effort and share their knowledge and experience so from the founder's side it's it's also very good it's not for, for the syndicate to for themselves to know each other, but for the founders, it's good to know that there can be people who could be a kind of a second board or a second uh, a mentor group for for the company. So mm. it, yeah. some companies do organize it with advisory board or or or, or something like that. So, but it, it, it's it's not about the how you organize it, but how do you kind of um, how do each side benefit the most. From, yeah. from these uh, skills. Uh, that's really, really, uh, I think, well well put that the syndicate can actually bring that kind of value that they mm. are like these extra people you, you can rely on. Mm. And, and if you feel that you need to have mm. somebody from the outside coming and giving you insights, then mm. this is a really, really good way for the syndicate mm. to actually influence on Absolutely. founders and the yeah. company. All right, we have one uh, comment, no rubbish, good stuff and insights. <laughs> Thank you, Anu. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I like to comment on motivating founders. Great, uh, great to hear. And if if there's any questions, go ahead, write them. Uh, we still have some time. Time to go through. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I, I could actually ask one question in this. In the meanwhile, while we we're still waiting, um, I got one more question actually. Uh, uh, uh so so what um uh, what kind of things uh you should make sure that the does not kind of uh, uh, overburden themselves so so what kind of things uh, is, is there kind of this kind of situation that that uh, uh may be uh over communicating or these kind of things in in these times that uh, a good point I'm, I'm, i think founders uh, or people in general working remotely, these sometimes things can come kind of overburdening. Yes, so. that's a good point because when you don't know, when, when you don't see the other person, yeah, and um, it, it might lead to that you are just you know putting out questions and nobody's answering, and then you, you you get it all wrong yourself. Then that okay, he's not answering. Why? Why the mm -hmm. heck is that? So uh, that's one thing to kind of. Uh, agree upon with mm. the founder that this is what I expect. Is this okay? We do it monthly and then we call. And, and that's, that's how you create also a safe safety net also for the founder that he knows, he knows that, okay, I know I'm not here, you know, 24 seven to answer phone calls from a, a, a anxiety investor who, 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 who just, you know, needs to know, exactly what's happening then so that kind of um, make sure you have the rules that are that that are um, kind of a 
doable from both sides. Mm. Sometimes when, when, when the relationship actually kind of goes further, so th that's one part of being, building the trust, being, building the psychological safety with, from both sides, that I can trust that he does his work and, and reports back on that mm. and, and, and the other side also. And, and as long as, you, along the time that you, you learn to know more about each other and where, where you can lean on and, and, and what you can ask for. Uh, ask for so that there it comes great all right uh, okay now we have uh, there, there, there there came a lot of questions <laughs> we we might have time to go through all of them but let's start with the first one so what have been the most difficult talk you have had with an entrepreneur so we a little bit uh, uh talked about this uh how it was solved with terms of communications is there something you would like to add into this mm. uh, yeah well the most difficult is always about money yeah mm. and reporting that what has been done what has been not done uh but there as i said so uh, most things are are quite technical to be to be honest so in the beginning that only when they start going through phases where where the the development is not quite what you expected then you need to have some answers that what happened there some people do feel it's it's um it's getting too personal, but you need to always understand or, or keep in mind also for the founder that this is not the personality thing. This is about just, you know, following up the company that what's happening. Entrepreneurs think, tend to think that they are the company. They, they kind of, they personalize things on themselves. So that's why they get also very personal if you ask them questions, especially questions that are a little bit delicate. So that's something to be keep in mind when, when communicating. Yeah. Uh, uh, can I ask the, the if, if we can have the uh, on a big screen the questions? I having difficulties to read. The <laughs> uh, yes. All right. Uh, and how to deal with investors that don't really anymore understand the business and uh, that has developed it in a in a new direction? Wow. Hmm. Take him to that side. That, yeah, well, the, in the beginning, there might be investors who don't really understand the business at all. <laughs> so I'm not really sure how to, um, how to, you know, kind of differentiate these two mm. groups to, from, from each other. I mean, having, having a clear, that comes from, from, the, from the beginning, as I said. So I, I, I like to un organize kind of a meeting together that everybody has a, has a clear table to say that what are what are their expectations how, expectations and how they uh, how they see the company and that gives you a good insight to the what they are expecting to see uh, sometimes yeah well when when we've been together for the longer time and everybody's kind of you know I not, I understand everything about this so it's still it's like a good board member that needs to always time time to time kind of uh, go through the strategy together with the with the syndicate where are we going what's going on getting on the same page if they are still there only for the money so why not but but if you're if this question is is pointing the direction that how to keep them from uh, giving bad advice so so that's uh, yeah that's a that's that's always a good good question um usually there is some kind of that that where, where the organization of things is 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 kind of a uh the, the key to the to the problem then if if, if if there is a board and there's a board of directors so they do keep to uh, they they make the decisions, and they then you can kind of say to that that that's that's the group that actually makes the decisions. That you are you are free to give you any any great advice, but 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 the decisions are made elsewhere. So that that's why it's good to have some kind of organization. Otherwise, you can just you know be be friends. Hmm. Great. Hey, thank you. I, we, we we need to skip the last questions, but we need to go forward, and then uh, so. First of all, Anukka, it was great having this talk with you. Thank you so much for joining us here Thank you, uh, in our studio. And, and it was uh, great to have you in this conversation, giving tips. And, and, and we, I think we touched really a lot of great uh, points in, in this, this 
this times and, and in the communication world in general as well. Thank you, Antti, very much. And a lovely, lovely studio, I must oh, say. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, thanks a lot. All right. But hey, uh, upcoming sessions. Uh, so April the, the 8th uh, topic is still on set, but it will be coming soon to your, uh, you will be knowing about that. I'm, I'm sure like next two, uh, Tuesday we're having Pitch Finland. Uh, I'm sure everybody's joining that. So so you will be hearing about the topic there. Uh, so here are up, upcoming Biban morning talk sessions. And, and thank you everybody for joining us here today. And uh, see you again next time. Thank you.